Yo, hello guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial guys, I will be showing you how to add payment methods in your Shopify store in 2023. So, once and as always guys, I will need you to watch this video from now till the end so you don't make any mistake during the process of adding payments method to your Shopify store. So, with that being said, let's get started and let's go to the first step. Now, first of all guys, let's go to the Shopify and let's create our shop. So how we can do that? Simply by going to the URL and search for Shopify. So here we go. This is the website. So basically Shopify is a website that allows you to sell products, do dropshipping and much more in like a website that they will create for you either for free for like seven days and, late, and later for example you like their services and etc you can just go to the pricing and you will find a one dollar subscription which is really really good and it will be really useful as you can see here you will get one dollar for three months of starter so you can get all the features in this one dollar or as you can start in at 2k usd per month so you can have like the best experience with Shopify Plus. Now, for now, what we are going to use is the seven days free trial. How we can use that? Basically by clicking on start free trial. And from here guys, all you need to do is answer these questions. From here you can, they can get to know you and etc. So I'm just starting here, next online store, next, um, this is a product. So you can say here whatever you'd like. And please guys, make sure to answer the correct questions. So they make the adjustment to your dashboard to make it more like the things that you will need and remove the extra things that you won't need. So let's keep it that way. Do you have an audience for following? So we can gonna make no for me and here you can choose a store name so a store name is your brand name basically so you can just put it in here i'm going to choose for example um books selling something like that and let's try to click now on next here you choose your region and here it is the last step which is creating your shopify id you can either create it with an email password name etc either like make it faster with continue with apple continue with facebook or either your google account so i'm going with continue with facebook and the next thing they will do is take me to facebook so this is pretty simple guys so it will not take that long from you to do all of these steps now as you can see it is building my store and opening it for me now all you need to do guys is wait for it until it is fully downloaded and installed and it will be opened right after that for you as you can see now it is loading and here it is the dashboard now it is pretty simple so here it is my trade is gonna end in 7th of march and let's drag this down and now how we can actually make payment methods in our shopify store that's pretty simple guys so first of all i will need you guys to go to settings which is at the bottom left of your website so here it is and from here guys i will need you to go to payments and here it is the payment section so here payments providers here you can support payment methods uh here you can manual payment method as you can see and so go on so now for us to add a payment method what you are going to do is click on here to add a payment method so here you can search for whatever payment method you like so for example if i clicked in here you will find like a bunch of options from visa mastercard american express Dinos Club, GCB, My Stereo. So it's gonna be so so like long list as you can see here is Discover. Um, let's see if they accept Bitcoin. So here we go. Disco Lotus, um, Tas, Pico. Like here it is. So here are like the cryptocurrencies as you can see. So these are Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, USDC, Dai, Bitcoin Cash, Dogecoin, even um, WeChat Pay if you are uh, in China, uh, Payflex. So they have like infinite amount of payment methods. So all you need to do is choose your payment method. For example, you choose MasterCard. And here, guys, you can choose um, whatever thing you like. So here is the fees, as you can see. Like you can choose whatever you'd like from these, and make sure to see the fees as well. So here, for example, you can find by your checkout. Um, so this is how you can get your money out, basically. So here, I'm going with 
pay Bionic checkout. So I'm going to click on activate from here. And then all you need to do so about Bionic checkout, this is some information about how it will work for you. And account status. So here you are not currently connected with Bionic. So all you need to do is actually connect your account with Bionic so they will direct you to your Bionic account. How you can do that by installing the application of Bionic checkout. So I start app and here we go now it will load for us so the payments here it is and of course for you to actually add your pioneer account let's click on manage to complete your process now they will take you to pioneer and from here guys from pioneer website all you need to do is actually um, connect your accounts and from there make some permissions so give uh, Shopify the permission to send you money to your account and you will be done with it now as you can see here if I went back to payments and now as you can see I have PayPal only so let's say that you wanted to add PayPal so all you need to do is add payment method go to here search for PayPal and here you can find PayPal as you can see if you didn't you can just find it by default in this section over here now what you will have to do simply activate PayPal so you can just click here so as you can see account connected no account connected so you can account like connect multiple accounts to your PayPal to your Shopify um, here as you can see the status is inactive so how you can connect it so all you need to do is activate PayPal Express checkout which is the same thing you can go to your PayPal connect your account and just like that you will have the PayPal active in here and you will receive money in here as well or you can just choose a provider as you can see payment providers you can just go here search for your provider it can be like they have infinite amount of providers as you can see so you can go through all of them and check which one you'd like the best so let's choose for example something randomly um to check out for example i don't uh, airpay um let's choose for example this one because it has more options so let's go with this one here all you need to do is put your api login id transaction key and you can here add or remove whatever you'd like from this so we can remove this we can remove this we can remove this and keep for example only these three it depends on you on what you'd like to have and when the end you will just have to click on activate authorize.net from here and it will activate it for you and everything will be settled up so all the billings that you will find here live page, live page so all the billings and the payments that you will get here they will be received from here and finally guys when you finish with all these payments methods etc we will go to billing and here add payments method and of course here you will find the pay payments method that you have added so for me i have added paypal and credit card as you can see they are not activated yet but overall you can see them over here so just for these informations with your own informations so here card number expires cvv billing others etc and make sure that these the, like the bottom uh things information about you are correct because later on they will ask you for an image of your id card to make sure that everything is good and not wrong to be able to verify your uh, details so yeah guys that's pretty much it so that's how we can add a payment method to shopify store so thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video